Hey guys, the Wood Craftsman here. Got a kind of a short video here doing some coping and sticking of some uh, frame and panel door parts. It's actually uh, just the door frames right now. Maybe I'll get some of the raised panel parts as well, but right now this is just the um, raised panel frames. I'm running a uh, quarter inch bead or a quarter round on the inside profile with a quarter by half inch uh, tenon. So um, not really much to it. Got some short pieces. Got a bunch of uh, six and 15 or seven inch long um, rails to run through the power feeds to see how well that works or maybe it doesn't work, but works out pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get a lot of close up video. Just actually a uh, last thought here, just using my smartphone and a little uh, stand for it. So I decided to grab some uh, video of it just to kind of show you some more of the coping and sticking operation.
So when I'm gluing up these two glass doors, I'm going to be a little bit more careful and pay a little bit more attention to as far as how the glue is being spread. Being that these are glass doors, I don't want any glue of any kind to be inside the groove of these frames. Now normally when I glue up a flat panel, raised panel door, if I had a little bit of glue in the very corner on the inside of the groove, it would never get seen. And second of all, the panels are anywhere from an eighth inch strong to three sixteenths away from the inside edge because of the space ball, so it's never an issue. But with these glass doors, I want to keep the corners nice and clean. Reason being is the router bit that it would actually use to route out the back to create the rabbit is actually a solid carbide flush trimming bit used for plastic laminate trimming. If you've seen these before, you'd recognize them. It's just a solid piece of carbide um, that has a slot cut in the bottom and at the very end might have like a round nose. And usually they come in a straight cut or maybe a slight bevel. Now luckily my sharpening service takes these bits and actually grinds off the end so it's about an eighth inch nub on the end. And that actual creates your live or your tri um, leading edge that basically follows the pattern. And the nice thing with that is it fits in a quarter inch groove and you actually just follow the inside frame of the door and you actually have a rabbit the same width as the groove that your style and rail set and cut works out really well. And the nice thing is you only have a quarter inch radius in all the corners. So you can see now why I don't want glue in the corners because it'll affect how that bit travels through the back of the frame. So you might have noticed that I didn't check the diagonals before I started pinning. Reason being is this is door number 15 out of 15. The first 14 doors have squared up nicely. Reason being is number one is I've taken the time to make sure that the tenon jig is actually cutting a square tenon and number two to make sure that when I cut doors for the rails that I cut them in pairs to make sure that they're the exact same length. If you do that, every door should square up properly every time, and if it doesn't square up, usually there's something else as being a problem. But for me, that's what I found out it seems to work out really well. Here I'm just double checking, just to verify, and as you'll see here, it's perfectly square.